Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa My name is Mim Tiaz. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go through and look at tanween. Tanween, which is narration. Okay? So, narration is a marker that may appear on the nouns, adjectives, and adverbs when they are indefinite. What do I mean by indefinite? So, if we look at the indefin indefinite articles, we have it indicates something that is not specific. Okay, and the, the identifiers that we use is the a or an. Okay, so example is can we have a cat? Okay, so what we're saying is we want a cat, but we're not saying which one. We're not being clear, really. Uh, so when we want to be clear, it's referred to as the definite article. So here it indicates something specific. The identifiers used are the or name or some features of the object or person or thing that we want okay so can we have the cat on the right so here we've been very specific about which cat that we want so indefiniteness uh, which corresponds to the use of a or an in english is not marked with a separate word in arabic okay so like here when we use i want a cat or I want um, an object in arabic we don't have these okay Instead, a case ending in the form of a suffix is attached to the end of the Arabic word. Many languages, like exam uh, for example German, have grammatical cases that affect the noun endings. And in Arabic, we have three cases. The nominative, the genitive and the accusative. Uh, and these cases determine which stem, which, sorry, which suffix will be applied. Okay, and I'll go into more detail about nominative, genitive, and accusative in, in another lesson um, because it's a fairly big topic. But uh, for the moment, it's, it's for you to understand what suffix will be applied to the end based on the, the different cases. Okay, so in general, cases are case markers are really short vowels. Okay, and we've already covered this in the vowels, short vowel session. So the three cases are genitive accusative and nominative uh, so when it is genitive the case ending that we're talking about is this bit here okay so here is al bayti al bayti so this t indicates that is genitive and there are rules that allow us to um, determine what this what this should be or when it is genitive and accusative and nominative okay but like i said i'll cover these in another lesson so then we have accusative so here's al -bayta. So here, this is the ending. And the last one is al -baytu. Okay, so here, the ending is um, the Dhamma. Okay, so genitive is a Qasra, accusative is a Fatha, and the nominative is a uh, Dhamma. Okay, so these all apply. The short vowels are used when it is definite. Indefiniteness in English is marked by the use of A or An, as, we, as I covered before. And in Arabic, the suffix n, n, is attached to the final vowel of the word. So here, so we've got bait t, and then an n will be added to the end. So if I give an example, so indefinite. So here, it becomes bait tin, bait tin. There is also a change here. The l is dropped. Well, I'll cover this in a few minutes. So n is added to the end, bait tin. And you can see that the vowel is doubled. Okay, so here. You have a single um, kasra, nice, double kasra. Next one is bay ten, bay ten. Again, there's a change here. There's an alif in the equation, but there's again two two forms of the short vowel, the fatha. Okay, next one is bay tun, bay un. So this is in, bay t is for the kasra, in, an. So the only thing that's added here is the ending, and okay. So and this is for the indefinite case. It's only the tanween is only applied to the indefinite articles. So this process of making a noun or adjective indefinite is called tanween. Okay, and an additional noon sound is pronounced, but not written at the end of the words. So if we look, go back to these words that we did before, is baytin. See, there's no noon in the in in the letter. It's just a sound, okay? And bay ten, again, there's no noon there. And bay tun, no noon. Okay? So the three types of nonation or tanween are, as we've just seen, is double dhamma, 
which is like this. And this actually has three different forms. I'll show you. It can be written in three different ways. Um, the double fatha. And this also double dhamma is called dhammatain. Or uh, and this one, uh, fatatain. And the kasratain. Double kasra. Okay. Uh, the, the, the terms are, like I said, by and by. It's just understanding what the suffix should be based on the genitive, nominative and accusative. Okay. And the thing to also remember that the the suffix will be only at the end of the word, only appears at the end of the word. Okay. So before I could go into the ten different types of tonia, the three different um, um, the nations, I'm just going to cover quickly what the indefinite and definite articles do. So in Arabic, the definite articles, like we saw before, the nouns are prefixed with al. Okay, there will be a separate lesson on definite and indefinite articles, but for just want to highlight this now. Nouns are prefixed with al, and the noun ends with a single vowel mark. Okay, so here we saw the indefinite, which was kitabun. In when it's definite, it is al prefixed with al, and to the single uh, vowel at the end al kitabu. Okay, so that's that's key. Uh, when we, like I said, when we do the lesson on definite and indefinite articles, we'll actually go through this in more detail. So then, the indefinite article it refers to something that is not specific. Okay, <clears throat> the l is dropped, and the end, uh, the the word ends ends with uh, a dum, uh, ten mean, which is uh, either a dumatain, fatatain, or a kasratain, and they remain unchanged for any noun, adjective, regardless of the gender. Okay, so here we've got kitabun, which is book, jamilatun, yeah, and then we have bay, ba with the fataya with sukun, bay, tun, bay tun. Okay, so that is. The indefinite article. So what we'll do now is go through each one of these uh, different means uh, in more detail. Okay, so the double fata or called fatatain is the double form of fatha. Okay, and as we saw before, an alif must be added and the fatatain added to the alif. Okay, the double fata makes the unsound. So. And if we look at the examples, we've got sheen plus the alif with the, the fatatain. It is sh shan, shan. Okay, next one, the meme with the, the fatatain, alif and the fatatain. It, it's written like this, and it's men. Okay, so one thing to note is the double fat has to be followed by an alif in Arabic writing, unless. The letter before it is a tamar buta or a hamza. Okay, so if we look at some of these examples, we've got ba, yeah, alif, ben, qaf, is fine, meme with the alif. Now, here the ending is a tamar buta. Okay, so the alif is not added and instead it's uh, the tanween is added to the tamar buta. And the same with the hamza, yeah, tamar buta. Okay, so that must remember this. Uh, so let's go some, through some of the letters. So first one is Ali An Ben Ten Fen Jen Han Khon Den Then Ron Zen Sen Shen Son Don, Don, Zon, An, Ron, Fen, Ron, Ken, Len, Men, Nen, Hen, Wen, and Yen. Okay? Okay, so what we're going to do now is go through and practice some of those uh, words. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is try and um, pronounce these before I do, and then you can check your answers. Okay, first one is wow with the fatha is wa, lam with the fatha is wala, and dal with the alif, do with the fathan, fatatain, sorry, so wala den, wala den. 
X1 is kaf with the fatha with ka, lam with the sukun makes one syllable, kal, and the ba alif with the fatatain is kalban, kalban. Next one is ya with the fatha, wa with the sukun, which makes a diphthong of yo, yo, and the mean with the alif and the uh, fatatain, yo man, which is day. Next one is tha with the fatatain, and the, oh, sorry, with the kasr, fatha. The wa with the sukun is thaw, and the ba alif with the fatatain is thawban, thawban. Next one is ain with the fatha is a, lam with the fatha, ala, and the mim alif and the double cos of fatha is alaman, alaman. Next one is kha with the damma is khu, ba with the sukun, uh, and again makes one sound is khub. And za with the alif and the fatatain is khubzan, khubzan. Next one, we have lam with the uh, fatha, wa with the sukun again, this creates a diphthong, low, low, noon alif and the fat, uh, fatatain is lonen, which is color. Okay, next one is ha with the damma, which is hu, kaf with the sukun is hook, mim alif. Fatatain, hookman, hookman, with the ha, hookman. Okay, next one is ha with the fatha with ha, lam with the kasra is hali, and the here we got the ya. So we from one of the long vowel sessions, we know the ya extends the kasra. So it's hali, ba, alif, uh, and the fatatain, hali ben, which is milk. Next one is jim with the kasra is ji. Seen with the sukun is jis, ra, alif, and this sukun of uh, fatatain, jisron, jisron, which is bridge. Next one is sheen with the fatha with sha, kha with the sukun is shakh, sod with the alif and the fatatain, and son, sorry, so it's shakhson, shakhson. Next one is meem with the fatha, ma, qaf with the um, fatha. And then the alif, so we've got long well here, so it's maqa, and then the lamb with the fatani, maqalin, maqalin. Next one is qaf with the fatha, lamb with the fatha, qala, meem with the alif and the fatatain, qala man, qala man. Next one is kaf with the kasra, ta with the fatha, and, and again we've got the long vowel here, kitaban, kitaban. Okay, next one is ha with the fatha, qaf with the kasra, haqi, and the ya, so it is a long vowel, haqi, ba with the fatha, haqi, ba, and the ta with the uh, fatatain, ten, haqi, ba, ten. Now, one thing to note here is normally when there is no ending vowel, the the if there's a normal vowel, it, this pronounces as an a, ah, or it be haqiba, haqiba, but because there's a fatatain there, it be haqiba ten. Okay, the next one is a noon with the kasra is ni, seen with the fatah is sa, ni sa, and then we've got the alif. Alif extends the fatha seen, it's a long vowel there, so ni sa, and the ain, sorry, hamza with the fatatain, and ni sa, and okay. So that is the fatatain. Next, we'll look at the double kasra. So the double kasra, as the name suggests, is this is the double form of the kasra. Okay, um, I written like this. So double kasra makes the in sound. Okay, so all we're really doing is adding the n and sound at the end of whatever the vowel is. Okay, and changing the obviously the the sign. Uh, so here, if we look at the sheen plus the in equals shin. Next one, mim plus t in equals min. Okay, so let's go through the letters. The first one is in, bin, tin, thin, jin, hen, khin, din, din, rin, zin, Sin, shin, sin, 
wenn den sin ein rin fin rin kin lin min nin hin win and yin okay let's look at some examples so again same as before what i'd like you to do is try and read this out before uh, i said okay so the first one is sheen with the dhamma issue rain with the dhamma ishugu lam with the kasrotein uh, is shugulin shugulin okay which is job next one is me with the fatha sin with the uh, fatha masa and dal with the kasrotein masadin which is glossary next one is jim with the fatha job ja ba with the fatha jaba lam with the kasrotein jabalin Jabalin. Next one is Ha with the Fatah. Now we have an alif here, which is a long vowel, extends the Fatah. So it's Ha. Then Sin with the Kasra is Ha Si. Dal with the Kasratain. Ha Sidin, which is. Okay, so Saad with the Kasra is Si. Uh, dal with the Sukun is Sid. Qaf with the Kasratain is Sidqin. Sidqin. Next one is mim with the fatha is ma ra with the sukun is mar fa, fa with the dhamma is marfu and here wow is the long vowel for the dhamma marfu so we extend the, the dhamma ain with the fatha is marfu a and the ta with the tamarbuta with the kasratain is marfu atin okay drawn next one we have the fa with the dhamma is fu Ra with the damma ru furu and shin with the kasratain is furu shin. Next one we have lam with the fatha, ha with the fatha, laha and ba with the kasratain, lahabin, lahabin. Next one is qaf with the fatha, is qa, ra with the fatha and the alif with the long vowel, qara. And the raw with the kasrotain in kororin. Kororin. Next one. Lam with the fatha is la. Ha with the sukun makes one sound. La. Mim with the kasrotain is lahmin. Okay. Next one is kaf with the kasra. Ki ra with the fatha is kira. Alif kiramin. Kiramin. Next one. <coughs> kaf with the fatha is ka, tha with the uh, ka, sorry, kaf with the fatha is ka, tha with the uh, kasra is thi, kathi, and the ya extends the kasra, kathi, and the ra with the fatha, kasra tain is kathirin. Next one is ta with the fatha is ta, ya with the sukun creates a diphthong, ta, and the ra with the kasra tain is toirin toirin next one is mim with the fatha is ma mim again with the sukun creates one sound mam and dal with the dhamma is mamdu and the wow extends this mamdu and the dal kasratain mamdu din next one is kho with the dhamma kho la with the dhamma lu kho lu qaf with the Kasratin Holokin. Next one is Mim with the Fatha is Ma Qaf with the al Fatha Ma Qa and then the Alif. So we extend this previous sound Ma Qa Min Ma Qa Min. Okay, so that is the Kasratin. Okay, next we have the double Dhamma or the Dhamma Tains. So that is the doubled form of the Dhamma. And what you see here is the dhamma is uh, like this, and the the dhamma tain is has a, like an inward tail at the end. Okay, so exactly the same thing like a wow, but with the tail at the end. <coughs> the double the dhamma makes the un sound. So we look at some examples. We have the sheen plus the dhamma tain equals look like this, which is shun shun. Okay, or mean plus the Dhammatain equals mun. Okay. Now 
the Dhamma, uh, double Dhamma can be written in three ways. Okay, the first one is like what I've just shown you. Okay, so you start from here, wow, and then the thing at the end. So like from there and like this. Well, the other way you'll see it written uh, is with the two Dhammas. Okay, and the last one is like this, like this, and then an inverted Dhamma. You see a lot of this in the in the Quran, uh, but this as well. So, like I said, you, you may see each one of these, so you know which which one what you're looking at really. Okay, uh, so let's go through the letters. The first one is un, bun, ton, thun, jun, hun, hun, dun, dun, run, zun. Sun, Shun, Sun, Dun, Ton, Zun, Un, Run, Fun, Pun, Kun, Lun, Mun, Nun, Wun, Hun, sorry, uh, Wun, and finally Yun. So if we go through the letters now, the first one, again, try and read this before I do. So the first one, Alif with the Dhamma is U, Sin with the Sukun is Us, Ra with the Fatah, Usra, and the Ta Marbuta with the Dhammatain, Usratun, Usratun. So the Ta will be changed to a normal Ta before pronouncing it, so Usratun, which is family. Next one is Alif with the, uh, so when we see Alif with the, the Hamza at the top, is like a and the ba with the uh, uh, the matin a bun a bun. Next one, alif with the dhamma is u, mi with the shadda, which uh, is the doubling of the sound letter. So and the dhammatain ummun ummun. Next one, kaf with the kasra ki, ta with the fatha is ki ta and then the alif ki ta and the ba. With the Dhammatain is Kitabun, Kitabun. Next one is Alif with the Dhamma is U. Kha with the Sukun is Ukh. Ta with the Dhammatain, Ukhtun. Next one is Jim with the Fatha is Ja. And Dal with the Shadda and the Dhammatain is Jaddun, Jaddun. Next one is Za with the Fatha is Za. Wow with the Sukun, he has created a diphthong, Zo. And the jim with the dhammatain, zawjun. Next one is za with the fatha, wow with the sukun, it is zaw, same as that. And the jim with the fatha is zawja, and the ta marbuta indicates that it's a feminine with zawjatun, zawjatun. Next one is wow with the fatha is wa, za with the sukun is was. Noon with the Dhammatain is known, was known, this is wait. Next one is Kha with the Fatha, me with the Sukun is Kham, Sin with the Dhammatain is Kham Sun. Okay, which is five. Next one is Ha with the Fatha, me with the Sukun is Ham, Dal with the Dhammatain, Hamdun, which is praise. Next one. Is a noon with the fatah is na, fa with the sukun is nef, sin with the dhammatain is sun, nef sun. Next one, we have ain with the kasra is i, la with the sukun is il, mim with the dhammatain ilmun. Next one <coughs> is za with the fatah is za, ha with the sukun is zah, ra with the dhammatain is zahrun which is flower. Next one is Kha with the Dhamma with Khu Ba with the uh, Sukun is one um, again Chris one syllable Khub and the Za with the Dhamma then is Khubzun which is bread. The last one is Lam with the Fatha with La Ta with the Sukun is Lot Fa with the Dhamma then is Lotfun. Yeah okay so that's the end of the lesson. <clears throat> uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel and share with those that could benefit from the content. Thank you very much. See you inshallah in the next lesson.